Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am looking at this random creature generator. Here it is. This project was created as part of a master's thesis about procedural generation of creatures by Jennifer Lindner. There we go. And it is based on this thing that got me addicted to Blender and Python all those years ago, the random spaceship generator. That one has textures and lighting and reflections and all sorts of things going on there. But uh, yes, based on that one, so it does fairly similar stuff, apart from this generates random creatures. Ooh, excellent stuff. So prerequisites, Blender. Okay, so you're going to need Blender. If you want Blender, you can just sudo snap install Blender. I, of course, already have it installed. So this will say, there you go, it's already installed. It's already installed. Fantastic. Now, once you've got it installed, you can start it up as Blender. It's going to do a new file general there, make it a little bit smaller because we're going to refer to these notes. Here we go. So now you'll only have to do this once, but edit preferences and add-ons. So edit preferences there and then add-ons. And then you've got this little search box here. So if you search in there for extra, these will be unticked by default. So they'll be like that. So just make sure you have them ticked. And you want the uh, add curve extra objects and add mesh extra objects as well. And you'll also want this bool tool, object bool tool. So just make sure all three of those are ticked. Then you can switch over to the scripting tab at the top. There you go, scripting tab. Now you can either copy and paste it from the GitHub there, or I've already downloaded it. So I'm just going to drag and drop script in there. There you go. Okay. So great. We've got the script. We can give it that little run button and it'll stop there and go, oh, oh, and it'll generate an, an interesting blocky creature, uh, but hasn't done any of these other object modifications, mostly because we are using the new version of Blender, not version 2.8. So we take those out. There we go. We just delete those. So it looks a little bit like that. And then when we press play, there we go. Everything is all green and we have our bizarre creature. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. There we go. There we go. Bizarre creature ready for you to color in, texture, do whatever you want to do to it. If you want a new creature, just press play and, and, and you get a new creature. There you go. Oh, hang on. I've got another another apply as data there we need to take out. Let's take that one out. Try that again. There we go. There we go. We've got another new creature. Another new creature. So, yep, yeah, I'm going to just keep pressing play and you will get these bizarre new creatures generated for you. That one looks quite cute, doesn't it? Oh, look at his little face. Anyway, there you go. Random creature generator. Do have a play. That's it for now. Random rodent out. <laughs> Bye.